Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we have something really exciting. We are going to tackle LeetCode uh, Daily Challenge, Reconstruct Itinerary Problem and I'm going to walk you through how to solve it using Depth for Search in Go. So by the end of this video, you will not only understand the problem but also appreciate the elegance of the algorithm we will be using. So let's get started. Uh, all right, let's first look at the problem description. Imagine you are given a bunch of tickets and each ticket has a source and a destination airport. And your task is to reconstruct the itinerary in lexicographical order. So uh, let's look at uh, some examples. So we are given a ticket, for example, uh, MOOC uh, LHR, so ticket. And uh, if we plot all tickets into graph, so it will be MOOC LRHR, also JFK MOOC, LRHR SFO, SFO, SJC. And what we need to return is uh, the traverse uh, like in the graph. So starting from JFK and then uh, MOOC and so on. So output uh, it as a, a list. So now when we understand the problem and also one remark, you always start from JFK and there can be uh, multiple valid itineraries, but you need to find the lexicographically smallest one. Uh, and yeah, so uh, let's dive into uh, Go implementation. Uh, so yeah, Go is an incredibly powerful language, especially when it comes to tasks like this. It offer a unique blend of simplicity and performance. So let's dive into uh, implementation. Uh, so first thing, graph, make, map, string, and string, and for ticket range tickets graph ticket zero equal append graph ticket zero ticket one okay so what we did do so uh, the go map served as our adjacency list and we loop through each ticket and append the destination to the source slice of uh, destination and next part will be for key range graph sort, 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 uh, and now reverse, reverse, sort string, slice, graph key, and variable itinerary string. Okay, so we are sorting our slices in reverse lexicographical order, just like we did, uh, yeah, for example, in Python, and this ensure that the DFS will pick the lexicographically smallest destination because we will be popping elements from uh, the end. And then we have uh, itinerary and DFS function airport, so core function, DFS function airport string, And next graph airport graph airport minus one graph airport equals graph airport to len airport minus one and DFS will be next and itinerary append itinerary and airport. And finally, DFS from JFK and reverse the itinerary to get the final uh, result. And last part is for I to len itinerary, itinerary plus 
len itinerary minus i will be itinerary len itinerary itinerary so we are reversing all right and return yeah our list okay so uh and now uh we have our uh, core of the algorithm so dfs function at and it mimics what we did previously in python but in go away so we use a for loop to go through the available destination and recursively call the dfs function and once we are done we append the current airport to our uh, itinerary uh, so uh, and also like just like in python we built uh, our itinerary in reverse so our final step uh, is uh, to uh, reverse everything and we get a result so let's run it to verify it's working so hopefully it worked yeah all good so now we can submit and yeah so uh, let's compare the results so as you can see uh, we beat 94 uh 41 percent with respect to runtime and also 87 with respect to memory so it's quite good and as you can see uh, our go implementation took just seven milliseconds and for example python 82 so yeah go uh, implementation uh with same logic remains pretty much the same but uh, how we write uh, change with the language so both python and go uh, have their unique strength and uh, understanding uh, to leverage them can make you much stronger coder and now uh, that we code this uh, both in python and go uh, we can uh, compare uh, yeah, the performances so as you can see uh, performance uh, in uh, go is almost yeah 12 times uh, faster so there you have it uh, we have not only solved the problem but also dive deep into algorithms and uh, DFS. So I hope this session was insightful and help you understand how to tackle uh, these problems. And for uh, those interested uh, in implementation in other languages like uh, C++, Java, Rust, and much more, check the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more uh, content like this. Uh, also, uh, challenges, tutorial, machine learning, and much more. And until next time, keep practicing and happy coding.